crowned champions. Paris's new objective in the championship was to finish the season by winning every single home match, a feat which hadn't been achieved since Saint-Étienne in 1975. And in St. Cavani, the league's top scorer, also with a chance to break Zlatan Ibrahimovic's record of the most league goals for Paris. Antoine Camboire's Gagan still had a small chance of qualifying for European football next campaign. This was also the first match since Unai Emery announced his official departure from the club. And Paris were under the cosh early on as they struggled against an energetic Gagan side. Dido coming close and hitting the post before the ball was cleared by Paris. Dido with a good strike. Silva and Kimbe watched it bounce off the post. Gagal took the lead right before half time with a brilliant shot by Ludovic Blas. An absolutely astounding half volley. Perfect balance, what a strike. Blasted into the back of the net. Gagal with a deserved lead after 45 minutes. Creating all kinds of trouble for Paris. And a very lacklustre attacking line. Troubles got worse for the new champions as Clément Grenier stole the ball and then set it up on the platter for Jimmy Brion. Gargan's star striker getting his 10th goal of the season. A phenomenal passing move which came from high pressure up the pitch. Paris who were given a foothold back into the match after the referee awarded a controversial penalty. Jimmy Briand pierced the foul, Giovanni Lo Celso outside of the penalty box. The spot kick is given and converted by Edinson Cavani. El Matador, the Uruguayan, the league's top scorer, with an expertly taken penalty. Cavani, who would be once again on the end of a good cross. A header, his 27th strike of the season. The Uruguayan who becomes the club's top scorer in the championship. A phenomenal season for him. An underwhelming Paris Saint-Germain managed to scrape a draw against a valiant Guingamp. They also miss out on the opportunity to win all their league matches at home this campaign. Any